All right, are you ready for some new? All right, guess what? We've got uh, Uncle Grandpa. <laughs> I've already done Steve. So we're going to do Grandpa. And uh, he's going to come out kind of funky. I already know because I'm doing it sideways. But go ahead and do like a square. This is different compared to the rest of the ones we do because he's, he's got a unique shape. So we'll say square. Right about mm, uh, a little higher than halfway. Make a semi C on that big old square. And kind of line that up right here and say, oh, there's two circles. And actually, this one, it, one overlaps the other because it's kind of like a traditional one. We'll put little two black dots right there. Uh, his eyeballs happening. And he's got like a hump right here. That's for his eyebrows or whatever you want to call it. But we'll bring this around too. See, coming up. And he's got his little top hat and his head like a small brain. So he really does look like he has a small brain with how he acts. Go ahead and make a little circle right there. His little propellers. You got the little two hair pieces and three little dots. Number three works well. You got S, which is very popular for ears to do the inside. You see that a lot, especially in cartoons. I'm bring on the eyes. And the nose. Got a pretty big nose. You could say it's the two of his eyeballs put together and smushed into a pancake. Put a little line over top. Uh, see, then while we're here, we'll go ahead and put another, we'll make a big nice little hump. It looks like a seat. Or a big L. L for Lee. Huh. Even though I wouldn't want him to be my L. Okay, so uh, now we're going to do a mouth. So instead of think he has no, no, uh, Oh, mustache. Why am I losing my mind? There we go. He got his mouth, got his tongue, got one big tooth. But what we need, what we're missing, we're missing his mustache. And his mustache has a personality of its own. You've got two little humps right there, and you've got three more coming down. One, two, three. All right, same other side. One, two, three. All right, usually always works together. Kind of fold it around and it comes over the mouth. And uh, actually one up and we're gonna I mean a little bit kind of shorten it up there. And he's got three in the mouth too. One, two, three. Yeah, kind of pass on the other one. Alright. Uh we'll go with that. It's not exact, but hey. It's close. You get the idea. Alright. And now we got his head, his hips just kinda of flying out here. For no apparent reason, like normal. That's just how Grandpa is. Uh, we're gonna make his like real round beach ball body. There we go. It's a body. You know what? I have his arm coming up. It's just gonna come out of his chin. Woo! Big old line. How the chin? His other arm. You know what? His other arm is just gonna come right here. Whoop! His other arm is just stretching up to the sky. Saying hello, good morning, and we're gonna make four weird fingers. Pop, he's waving to you. Um, let's see, Grandpa, what did you do? So we're gonna give you because he had his pants are pulled up by his rainbow bright. Um. Yeah, gummit. I forgot what they were called. Suspenders. Ah, I remember. That's good. He's got two dots for his little button-up shirt. We'll pull that right around here. He got his butt happening. So we got kind of a basic idea. Um, I went a little harder so you can see. Now I'm going to kind of darken everything up with my 4B, which is getting kind of rough to look at. Put a little S in there. Darken this up around. Alright. Whoop. Bring the lines down around. Wow. Got a little chin. Whoop, whoop. And. Hump. Get the news 
happening. There's this little, this one tooth out of everything else. I guess because he lost it all the rest. That's what happens when you fly into outer space with a, a supposedly rainbow butt flying lion and a pizza pizza that talks to you and a Godzilla looking thing that uh, apparently has a bad day 24-7. <laughs> uh, I have a little belly. Whoop. A little triangle. There's little buttons. Bonk, bonk. If you haven't seen Uncle Grandpa, it's a show um, that's very kid oriented compared to anything else. Just free ball, just crazy. No, uh, no thought pattern at uh, all. Well, there really is. There is a, a moral to some of them. But it's just great humor and just creativity for for kids and adults. I mean, you can be adult and love it. Um, I think it's really funny. You can watch sometimes, but it's definitely for kids. And I I really enjoy cartoons that can do that because not very often you come across many cartoons like that anymore. That uh, you feel like the kids can just watch and have a good time, or or learn something, or see whatever it may be. Um, and it's on Cartoon Network, so you know, it's a network more based towards adults <laughs> and kids. But in this case, I would uh, even allow kids to watch it. So I think it's pretty cool. All right, so we got our happy Mr. Grandpa just hanging out, ready to go on an adventure with everybody. What do you say? Want to go on an adventure? He does like saying good morning. So, there is our Uncle Grandpa. My own version of Uncle Grandpa in a sense. I hope you like.